All right, we're on red alert. Red alert. One of my favorite features of for MMOs got announced, and I am both happy and a little upset because I can't let myself be happy even once. First of all, for all the people upset because like, my immersion I was gonna get cluttered. Oh, this is the worst. You know, toggles exist, right? Okay, with that obviously easy way to counter the range people not wanting chat bubbles in 14 out of the way. I need to talk about something I noticed that I hope the dev team works on and if they don't, I need to make them aware of it because I am a bit of a psychopath. Now, we are gonna look at this announcement picture for the chat bubbles in Final Fantasy XIV that some people may or may not have seen. I'll give you 10 seconds to look at it and think of what's wrong with it, okay? Here we go. All right, did you spot it? It's okay if you didn't. I consider myself an insane person and have noticed it for you. Couple things. Number one, illegible text due to the background, limited number of characters on display, speech bubbles pivoted on not the face of the character, but instead the head. Now, two of these may have been something the developers have already accounted for and taken care of, or at least I can hope so. You are clearly able to give your font a different color corresponding to whichever chat you are using, blue for party, black for say, and yellow for piss chat, also known as the yell chat. Now, although changing the font color is nice, I can't help but notice that all the background for the bubbles is this kind of light beige one they usually use for the NPC text. Now, I understand that's within in-game logic and continuity to keep everything consistent, but I'll be honest, I personally struggle a bit to read what the NPCs are saying, especially with how thin the font is. It gets worse when you apply these different tone fonts to a light background. This is the reason our usual chat box is dark, so the text pops more specifically when it's white font on black background. It's easier on the eyes. Take it from World of Warcraft. They knew to place this big, thick, white font on a dark background, making it easier to see and read. So I really hope the 14 devs account for this and allow us to customize it into a dark mode, if you want to call it that. Limited number of text, although not exactly a major concern, I am hoping that you change that from a limit to a full sentence. But that's just wishful thinking on my part. I don't have much to say about this issue other than I hope they don't just leave it at six words, which makes it not even worth it, to be honest. Now, for the big one, the, th the whole reason I made this entire video and the thing I need the development team to look at alongside the rest of the players to notice that something is wrong. I hyperfixated on this the second I saw it. You notice this person on the side? He's clearly leaning forward due to his emote, and you may notice that the chat bubble itself is not centered on what would be his model space, but instead it's centered on his head. This means the chat bubbles that would be adding work the same as the NPCs in the overworld. I assume they're doing it this way since it's already a tech they can work from and to make it, I don't know, more immersive that the text is coming out of a character's face. Whichever the reason, I personally believe this is a terrible idea. I have run dungeons with NPCs and I enjoyed reading what the NPCs in the overworld have to say, but there are moments when the NPCs are emoting and I struggle to read what they're saying because of their head movement, dragging or chat bubble with them, especially if they're talking at the same time they're attacking. I got some help to showcase how bad this is. Apparently the 14 devs are pretty much just taking this chat bubble tech from an already pre-existing add-on. And boy does it have the same issues I mentioned. I was given footage of an example of how nightmarish it would be to keep track of a character's talking while doing anything. Granted the male aura is probably the most extreme example when it comes to the moment, but it's the best way to showcase this. Due to the chat bubble being pivoted to the head, it becomes harder to read. It can go from just a light sway to bouncing all over the place. In contrast, going back to World of Warcraft, the chat bubble is pivoted to the base of the character, making it so no matter how much you move and jump around, the text remains centered and legible. So I'm making this video to raise awareness to the developer team and to the players that this issue is at least, in my opinion, in need of fixing before the feature releases. My best hope is that they give us a toggle for where the speech bubble is anchored to, but I honestly fear that just taking a pre-existing work and putting it on top of the players, which is a shame since I'm not a fan of the NPC's bubbles themselves. But that's my rant. I want the chat bubbles to be enjoyable, so being able to customize it to our liking is my best hope. It is all a personal opinion after all. You may enjoy them as they are, and that's alright, but I honestly believe they need these features fixed before dropping them onto the game. For now, take care, stay safe, and I'll be talking to you next time.